All right, so update. We got 3.3 hours on. I used it down at the plant. And uh, we're gonna check uh, the level on uh, the hydraulic. We'll check the engine oil and we'll check the coolant just to see if there's been any uh, air or anything like that. Um, I did a quick check on it, didn't see any leaks anywhere. And for some reason, for some reason the mosquitoes are just absolutely relentless. They are just terrible right now. So go ahead, Addy. Uh, we're going to do just like the instructions say here. We're going to unthread the uh, dipstick on the hydraulic here. We're going to pull it out, wipe it clean. And then after we wipe it clean, we're just going to set it on top of threads. Pull it back out and we will see how much we got on the stick there. Let's see. And that looks pretty good. Right? Is it all the way up to the top X? It's hard to see. Uh, yeah. Well, looks like it is, doesn't it? Just wipe it off, put it in here one more time. We'll just double check just to make sure. It should be good now. I think we got all the air purged out. Right, so we're gonna try it again here. Like I said, the mosquitoes are terrible. Like we can't even like film it. They're so bad. They're just absolutely terrible. So it looks like it's up to the first X. So it looks like it actually is going to need a little bit yet. Um, you can put it back in. I know when I was at the plant cutting, uh, there was a point in time where I backed up or I, I pressed the reverse pedal and it kind of chattered just for a second and it kind of seemed like it caught itself. And I'm like, that almost seems like there's some air in the hydraulic system. So um, it's probably still purging out to be honest with you. So we'll top off the hydraulic. Uh, this side here, it looks like the coolant levels right where it was when we started right smack dab between the middle of the maximum and the minimum levels there, so that should be fine. And uh, we'll pull out the oil dipstick and take a look at it. All that. right, so over on this side here, we're going to check the engine oil. Um, there's the dipstick there, yellow. Addy, you will pull it out. Yeah, you got to kind of... Okay, that's not the way I would do it. Put, put it back down. <laughs> There, you gotta kind of bend it and bring it this way. There you go, got it? And then bring it up and let's take a look at it. Um, that looks pretty good. It's up to the, yeah, that's perfect. So that hasn't moved either. I checked that from day one and that was good. So there isn't any, yeah, you wipe it off and then put it back in carefully. So that's the same, uh, same as before. So no issues there. I'm not sure exactly what the issue is though with that hydraulic that that just wasn't purged of all the air. I thought that that's something that they they would have took care of right away. So like I said, I'm gonna top that off a little bit just to make sure it's where it's supposed to be. Um, I'm gonna be going down the cut at the plant again here very shortly because all it seems to do here this year is rain and grass grow. So. I'm just going to sit on a machine all summer long, I guess, and even into the fall the way it looks. So I did know though the other day when I was cutting, you could smell like uh, paint burning off. So I don't know if that was coming off the exhaust or if it's just the engine, everything's really, really getting warm. You could smell it. And oh, other observation is this thing really does not use a lot of fuel. Um, I cut almost the entire plant and it was like still half. It wasn't even close. Usually with the gas, I'll, uh, I'll go and fill it up full and then about halfway through I'll fill it up again just because I won't I won't have enough gas otherwise to finish and this seems to be pretty good. I filled up a five gallon jug of diesel fuel and I still got I'd say half left yet so it's doing a nice job with that. All right so we're gonna get it loaded up so I have it ready for uh, cutting grass this week on the on the trailer. and uh, I'll be ready to cut grass this week. Um, I did, like I said, I topped it off. I added just a little bit, probably another two ounces or so. And running it down at the plant, that's usually about two, two and a half hours. So we'll see uh, 
we'll see how that goes. Like I said, it, there was a little bit of a stutter in there when I backed up, so I'm assuming there's still some air in that, in that system. In the plant, you do a lot of forward, backward, a lot of turning, so I would think that would purge that system out. So, all right, that's gonna be it for now.